So you may be asking, what is this weird hunk of plastic you are looking at? Now that is a good question that we are going to answer in one minute. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Omni Entertainment System that I just actually picked up at Hot Comics for $49.99, which isn't too bad of a price. Now, the Omni Entertainment System was an electronic standalone game system that was produced by MB Electronics Division for the Milton Bradley Company, and this console was released in 1980. The system primarily played trivia question games from an 8-track tape cartridge cartridges, which are pretty massive and you will see kind of coming up here in some of the clips ahead. And as you can tell, it was ages from 10 to adult, which I clarify in that criteria there. And it is up to four players. And there is the eight track tape that I was referencing. That is the cartridges. Now on the back of the system here, it has the copyright of 1981. Now, as you observe the console itself, it has a whole bunch of colorful squares that are labeled from A to Z with different buttons and also a 0 to 9 scale and also these are three different games that came with the system among the purchase which was not included but I was lucky enough to get my hands on it now here is a zoom in as we go across so this left button right here is going to be the go kind of a cycle if that makes sense you can switch between the different tracks the E button is your enter and then the rest is what you use to answer the questions as you play the trivia game so as you can see, there's only two controls on this system. The left hand side, we have a volume meter where you can simply raise it from 10 to 0 or 0 to 10, depending on what you need. And on the right hand side is going to be the channel where it goes from 4 to 3 to 2 to 1. And this is where you switch the different tapes on the 8 track cartridge system. Just kind of showcasing the buttons a little bit closer, this is the go button which once again cycles through the audio tracks on the cartridges and over here is the enter button where you confirm your answer and then once again we have the 1 to 9 and the A to Z where you will type in your corresponding answer once he actually asks you a question. Now here is the LED screens, we have a 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is a 4 console player so basically 4 people can play at once. And so as we go inside of the box we also have the instruction booklet that came along with with the console itself and as we open up inside we can see a whole bunch of <laughs> couple cute little notes to parents in there it has 60 hertz 15 watts ac only some basic stuff not too much technology advanced as it was and once again if you look on this inside panel we have kind of what i was explaining prior with the different keyboard panels the volume control the switches and everything else and then if we pan over to the right we're going to have the go button the letter numbers and then also the enter button as well as we go inside, this was actually a cool little piece that I found that kind of came along with the box. Now, this is the outside, but if we open it up, this is actually a Oni warranty registration from the 1980s, where you would fill this out to actually protect your device in case if anything happened to it, which as you guys can tell, this is totally different from nowadays. We no longer mail these in. <laughs> you guys obviously know that, but I thought that was cool as well. And here's some more little knickknacks that kind of came inside of the box. So here is where we actually insert the cartridges now just to kind of get a size reference of how big this hole actually is let me put my hand up to the spot here look at this it is about as big as my hand right there these cartridges are actually massive believe it or not they are bigger than it seems on camera if you were to see this in person so to set this bad boy up, it's pretty simple. All you get is a power adapter, which is located here. You simply plug it into a wall outlet, which plugs into the Oni. We have our game and then obviously the Oni system. So we're going to set this bad boy up. There is the connector for the power adapter, which is the two metal prongs. So that is the first thing that we are going to do. We simply connect in the power adapter into the two metal prongs. And then we're going to put the other end into the outlet here in one second. And there we go, we're now going to enter into the outlet. 
The next step is to put into the cartridge into the Oni, which is kind of complicated because the pins don't exactly line up, so it is a little bit of a struggle. But so as it powers up, you can see the red flashing zeros representing that the system is now online. <laughs> not quite online, but you know what I mean, that it is powered. And as we zoom in, it is not quite ready. We actually need to press the enter key and then the lights will stop flashing which signifies that the game is now ready and each person that is going to play can simply hit the enter key and it will add up to four players the entertainer and maple leaf rag were composed by whom number one scott joplin two wc handy three dizzy gillespie four none of the above. And right there was an example question of what it will ask you with this cartridge. Now we can press 3 for the answer and press enter. Scott Joplin, number 1. And who can forget Marvin Hamlish's interpretation of those tunes? Now my answer was incorrect because we did not get a number. I skipped ahead here and you can now see that I had a correct answer of number 2. And what also another cool thing is this thing can play music as well. Well, that pretty much sums it up. It's nothing really more than just a big piece of plastic with a whole bunch of colorful squares and buttons and numbers and everything else and just a man who talks to you about some trivia questions. But either way, you guys, I just wanted to keep this nice and short and simple for you. Thank you for tuning in to this retro review of the Omni Entertainment System, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode. See you later.